Um, thank you all for having me. Um, today I'm going to talk about indigeneity and climate change. So I've always known I've wanted to go into the field of environmentalism um, since I was young. And even more recently, I've understood that I want to go into environmental policy. Um, but this semester completely shifted my understanding of environmentalism and it completely shifted my paradigm. Because I've learned and I'm continuing to learn and understand that the primary cause of climate change can be traced back to colonialism, specifically the invasion of European settlers on native land. Um, and this isn't new information, but it's new to me, and I think that's a problem. Through my indigenous studies class um, and my ethnic studies class and further exploration on my own, um, I've been growing my understanding and acknowledging the impact colonialism continues to have on communities of color, indigenous communities, and on our planet. I'm understanding that working for the environment means working to decolonize, and this is what my research is focused on. Firstly, however, I think it's important we acknowledge that we're on native land right now. Um, we are currently on Cherokee land, and we must honor and respect and express gratitude for that. Um, it's also important to acknowledge that I'm not indigenous and I don't claim to know the indigenous experience. Because of this, I want to share a quote, and it's kind of long, <laughs> but I ask for your open ears and minds. Um, it's from God is Red, which is a book written by uh, native Vine Deloria Jr. And it explores the contrasting relationship between Christianity and native spirituality, and thus the colonizer versus native relationship with the land. Yet there is a profound difference between American Indians and all of these other groups. The Indian is indigenous and therefore does not have the psychological burden of establishing his or her right to the land in the deep emotional sense of knowing that he or she belongs there. Nearly half a century ago, Chief Luther, standing bare of the Sioux tribe, commented on the strange feeling of alienation which the intruder ex experiences and applied his analysis to the American white as follows. The white man does not understand America. He is too far removed from its formative processes. The roots of the tree of his life have not yet grasped the rock and soil. The white man is still troubled, troubled by primitive fears. He still has in his consciousness the perils of this frontier continent, some of its fastestness not yet having yielded to his questioning footsteps and inquiring eyes. He shudders still with the memory of the loss of his forefathers upon its scorching deserts and forbidding mountain tops. The man from Europe is still a foreigner and an alien, and he still hates the man who questioned his oath across the continent. It is important for external groups to stop romanticizing indigeneity or deeming every native individual an environmentalist, because they're not. And as Deloria exp expresses, most indigenous groups have just failed to objectify the land we walk on in the way colonizers have. It's a lot easier to neglect what is outside of you than what is a part of you. I could share with you statistics and research that I've uncovered, but I think it's more important to start by digesting the concept and seeking to understand and empathize. The voices that are silenced and misrepresented in most mainstream coverage are the voices that deserve to be listened to the most. These are the voices of the indigenous and voices of color. When native demands, information, and knowledge are offered, we owe it to the health of the people and the planet to listen. Many indigenous groups have more knowledge about the relationship with the environment than colonizers and settlers ever could. Thousands of years of knowledge. Why wouldn't we consult the peoples who share the oldest relationship with our earth when seeking to mend the environment? We have everything to lose if we continue to dismiss their voices and everything to gain if we create space. Thank you.